Hello lovely friends, I'm Jibid. Thank you for tuning in today. I have some flip throughs to show you. Um, I have two books, um, which is my usual thing to do. Uh, if you have tuned in because you're searching for sewing and needle books and such, uh, I'm going to do this needle book first. Um, it's part of the same order. All these three are for the same lady. So um, if you're here for the sewing part, I'll do that right now. So I'll just get these out of the way. Okay. So um, let's zoom in a little bit. Some of you may know that I started my Etsy shop originally selling um, needle books, little like sewing kits for for sewing. Um, and it's kind of progressed onto different things now. I'm, I'm more involved with uh, junk journals. But um, this is also a good time to say thank you again to Nazi because um, it was because of Nazi's buying a book from me and she put it on her channel as a little um, kind of show and tell thing. Um, and you know it kind of fed a lot of people back to my shop and it really got me kick-started um, in a big way so I owe Nazi big thank yous because she is such a sweetheart um, you don't need me to tell you that she's a lovely girl so thank you Nazi and hello um, so this is one of the needle books that I um, have made this was a special request um, so just to let you know that I probably don't have time to stock the shop with um, with these, but um, you know if you want to do a custom request, that's fine. Um, as I said, I'm more to do with the paper at the moment. It seems you know it's just <laughs> okay. Really sorry about the banging. I've got the plumber in, and I really have to do the video today. Um, so I'm sorry, I may have to, yeah, sorry, I may have to keep pausing, so if the video keeps jumping, that's why um, I've got the plumber in, uh, I can't do this video another day, so uh, I'm sorry about the disruption. Um, okay, so needle books, um, they tend to all be different, just depends what fabric I'm using, or you know, what I've bought recently, um, if you have specific colour requirements then I, I will use fabric that I have you know um, like a, a usual custom order how it works um, if not then you know I'll purchase something um, custom orders are, are not uh, you know they're the same price as, as they would be on the shop anyway and um, they tend to be actually all different my books um, the layout is different, usually the pockets are, are all different, um, you know, it just depends, It's uh, they just kind of evolve, you know. So I'll just show you some of the bits that will probably come with it, that's just a little business card, um, I've done a little tapestry wool sample, some button cards, this one has a knitting gauge and ruler with it. Um, there's some little samples and handmade felt and bits and pieces on there. I think that's all in that pocket. On the front is a little vintage uh, hanger charm. This panel here um, was the only thing that the lady requested. She'd seen a, a previous book and she liked this rose. So I've used the same fabric. And what I did was pad this section so you, you could actually pin things, put needles and pins on the front here as well. In fact, you know, it's fabric, so you could do that anywhere. Uh, there's a little pocket here for a pencil and a little crochet hook. All these bits and pieces come with the book. Uh, some mother of pearl buttons. And this one has a ribbon tie, as you can see. Um, often there's a button or you know two buttons like that with a elastic it just depends so inside there's a little scissor pocket here and the um the string 
around the bottom that will keep your scissors in place. Some little scraps. This is where you'd keep your spare bottoms. And I've just sewn these on all differently. Um, I just wanted to show you that one because it's quite a cute little way to sew a button with the three threads like that. And there's a little scissor charm. Some, um, a little, what do we call these? I've forgotten. Some silk, some uh, stitch holders, a skein, a mini skein. And in here is a thread hole, a thread, a threader. And I've made a couple of these little vintage needle packets which open and then I'll just put it down. There's a little popper here with a, a teeny book with some pages so you can put your little needles and things on there. There's a beaded pin, some little scraps pinned on there. So pocket behind that. There's a little loop to hang something on. Uh, in this pocket here get rid of that thread. Some more little scraps, there's some um, tracing paper, there's a little um, envelope with buttons, some um, mother of pearl buttons. I've made this just using a little um, graphic, I think it was from the graphics fairy, and just backed it with some card and sewn the buttons on like that. These make really pretty little gifts to if you're sending a greeting card to somebody because they're quite flat, you know, if you use small buttons just to slip that in, they're really pretty. So that's another um, needle packet. This is a little matchbook that I've made with cardstock and just sewn in some felt so you could use that as a little travel kit for, for needles. And that just slots in there. And a bit of stamping, or you could decorate it with washi, whatever you want. That's all for that pocket. And this one opens too with a um, popper. Hang on. And so there's a panel here for more pins and needles. There's some little scraps pinned on there. And behind is another button, got some silk on a little tag, some little bits and pieces in there to play with, show you quickly, some postage stamps, just some little play bits of ephemera, uh, there's a nice enamelled button and this is called a bindle and I'll just open it up so that you can see how it's made if you wanted to do this. Um, so there's a square of paper that you start with. So you can put a little button or some seed beads as a little tiny gift. So just fold in half, fold the sides in like that and you fold it up and just tuck it in. So that's that, isn't that cute? So that goes in there, that goes in there. Um, so that's basically it. As I said, they're all different. You can customise them however you want. Um, so just drop me a message if you're interested in, in one of those. Um, so for anyone who is only tuned in for the sewing bit, thank you very much for coming. Um, you may go and get on with your life now if you want. I'm going to just do the flip through of the two journals now. Um, so thank you very much. Okay, so let's get these bits out of the way. So uh, as I was saying, this lady ordered um, two journals. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Oops. better um, and I think probably I'm going to run out of time so there'll be a part two and just let me pause 
okay plumber business to deal with um, so you can probably tell I'm rushing a bit I'm a little bit um, want to get it out of the way um, you know with as least disturbance as possible um, so we'll see how the morning goes okay so this lady she ordered a woodland journal and later you'll see an art journal um, and to be honest it's been a little bit confusing with the um, the way the, the videos have been uploaded I recently had another lady who ordered two books um, but she ordered one and then I had some other orders and then the lady got back to me and said you know can I order another so that's fine um, but it just means that the videos that you've been seeing are probably not in sync not in a proper timeline um, so this book I've been working on um, several weeks ago um, because this is the second lady that, that's done that requested the two uh, with a gap in between so um, if it's confusing you it, it confused me as well um, but I just wanted to say that um, you know that the timeline has gone a bit skew if with my um, uploads um, so uh, new things that you'll be seeing you know that seem new have been uh, actually I don't even know what I'm trying to say I'm just going to get on and show you the video <laughs> okay so Woodland Journal um, this lady she wanted owls and she specifically requested this lovely um, toadstool which is a fly agaric so there's been a few of these and um, something else specific I've forgotten at the moment um, this is the problem um, because I was working on this book a few weeks ago I, I've kind of forgotten what I've done with it so um, I have to remind myself as I go so there's a little um, smaller version on the back um, I mentioned my friend Liv, um, who's a Norwegian lady, uh, in the last video, and um, Liv sent me some beautiful crafty bits and pieces, and one of the things that she sent me um, was a little book cover, which was just like um, an altered book, but she'd taken the, the books, the pages out, and sent me the cover, you know, to use for a notebook or what have you um, so when I decide what I'm doing with it um, I will probably show you because it is the most beautiful little um, book cover it's absolutely gorgeous um, but what Liv had done with it as, was put some cotton lace down the spine so I've just got the, the book cover and this strip of cotton lace and it looks so pretty um, and as I said before, I wanted to copy some of Liv's lovely ideas. So that's what I've done with this book. Um, there's some cotton lace here. Also, I don't know if you can see, I've used a bit of trimming here with the brown and white lines. You might just be able to see that, I hope. So that's um, at the bottom as well. Let me just try to... So it looks really pretty and um, it kind of reminds me of Nick's books, of course. Um, Nick is, well, she's the queen of journals and journal covers, I have to say, I, I adore her work. Um, so this is a little bit like hers, but it, it's not really, it's different. Um, I, I don't want to copy her ideas because um, she's so very unique. Um, so I, I just wanted to say that I really admire Nick and um, I wouldn't want to do that to her so I have used this um, idea so I think it's a little bit different and of course um, the spine is different um, so the spine I've used some strips of eco dyed um, calico cotton and I think I've said enough really about the cover um, just also that there is here you'll see a little bit of ledger page um, and oh actually no it's the wrong ledger 
inside there's some ledger that I want to thank um, my friend Catherine for. So. Inside, I've done this very massive pocket. It's it's huge. You could get a small child in here, probably. There's a concertina on the sides, and there's a spine along here, which makes it very wide and spacious. And so um, I've put some bits in here. Yeah, so definitely small child. Or popcorn. Popcorn dispenser, how cool would that be? Have a popcorn dispenser in your book. <laughs> I'm patenting that idea, guys. You can't copy that. <laughs> Definitely doing that on my next book. So I've done a little um, envelope with uh, some vintage dictionary and inside some little... Um, cards and things. There's a little file folder with some vintage wildlife card and I can't remember. I can't remember what this stuff is. Okay, so, oh, that's right. Red foxes was the other thing that the lady wanted. So um, I've just put this little page because I ended up not using it in the book. I was going to make pockets, but it's just loose in there. And there's a little envelope and I found um, a tin of Cavallini um, postcards in a antique shop, strangely. <laughs> Still shrink-wrapped. So, I don't know why they were in there and he wasn't fooling anybody. But um, I bought them because they were cheaper. I can't afford Cavallini postcards, but they're really nice quality. So, that's that. Okay. So, that's... Um, is that Tim Holt paper? I think it is, isn't it? And you'll notice that I've got some new stamps and these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Um, from Artemio. And uh, I think they're made in Belgium. Uh, and they are really beautifully detailed, very fine stamps. Um, so I'm going to be using them a lot. Um, so I've done this one with a title page, kind of a little bit differently. Uh, got some note paper transfers, a little wax paper disc with a leaf sample, some stamping up there. Um, I think that my phone is going to give me about 20 minutes, so um, probably I'm going to get cut off. So please tune in for part two. I've chosen under the greenwood tree for the library card and I've done the um, little personal info as a little separate wallet this time so that's like that and then on the back of that one is where you can put your phone numbers Uh, this was a little idea that I got while I was looking at children's books in the doctor's surgery, looking like a mad person. Um, so it's little leaves cut out from pictures of trees, you know, so you get the, the greenery and just sketched into little um, tree shapes, leaf shapes. This was... Um,